Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and this is Grassroots NASCAR Racing. Today we are gonna try and get this Harry Gant car up and running and get it on the road. Now it doesn't need a whole lot. I've already been doing a few little things to it. It just needs little stuff to get it running. So, so far I've got it on the uh, battery charger back here. See that on the floor charging up. Uh, I've topped off the power steering fluid because it does have a power steering leak. Um, put in some fluid that is supposed to help with that. We'll see if it helps with that at all. Um, more than likely, I'll end up uh, taking that box out and probably replacing it. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna top off the oil, check the antifreeze or water. <laughs> check that, be sure that's good. I wanna get underneath it real quick because I think one of the oil lines going to the dry sump pump is loose a little bit. It does drip a little bit of oil, so I'm gonna check that. And then, uh, not too much else besides that. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the carb just a little bit and then uh, we should fire it up and see if we can get it on the road. Now, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. I installed this the other day up in the corner of the shop because it's Texas, it's summer, it's hot as balls. So I got that fan up there and it does seem to help a little bit. Um, it's cooled it down a little. Right now it's 96 degrees outside. I don't know what the heat index is with the humidity, but it's hot. It's Texas summer. Um, and normally on a day like this, this shop would be about probably 116, 118 degrees. Right now it's about 108. Um, I'm gonna open up one of the bay doors, see if I can get it cooled down just a little bit more. So let's go to work. So the car is pretty much ready to go, I think. I've done everything that I can think of that really needs to be done to it to start it. Um, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get this bad boy going. Um, she's all ready to go. I still need to, before I drive her, I need to put the cover back over the battery back here. But I just want to fire it up and see if we can get her running. So let's do that. Okay, well that was fun. Um, so I started it with a starter fluid just to kind of get it going. I had filled up the bowls with fuel. 
um, but I knew that fuel had to get from the tank to the uh, to the engine because I had swapped that fuel cell out a little while ago um, but now fuel is getting up there so we're getting fuel in um, I'm gonna have to check the timing and be sure that that's good but uh, we'll see we'll keep playing with it a little bit all right let's try this again Okay, so I messed with the timing just a little bit. I think it's pretty much where it needs to be, uh, but it didn't seem to help it run much better. So honestly, I think that this engine is just tired. It needs to be taken out. It needs to be refreshed, taken apart. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so what I'm probably going to do eventually is just throw something else in there, um, something that I know is ready to go and uh, that'll run well. This thing, it, I got it running good enough to where I could probably take it out on the street and move it around a little bit, but without it running well, I don't even want to take it out. So it's finally cooled down out here. It's not too bad. It's still a little warm, but I was hoping to get it out on the streets on a nice Texas day and uh, it's not going to happen today, but at least I got it running. Um, I can get it back in the shop without having to push it. So that's good. Um, but it's nice to get the cars out of the shop. You know, I got the, I got that Grand Prix back there. Um, pulled it out and I'll, I'll probably clean it up while it's out and uh, get some of the dust off it but uh, you know it's fun messing with these old cars but they can be a pain in the butt sometimes so um, this one I actually I'm talking to some people at RCR right now trying to get some answers as to if this is an actual Dale Senior chassis if it's not I might be selling this car so I've got too many projects right now I've got six cars in the garage it's just too many so um, Stay tuned for that. We'll try and get some answers and get some uh, get some closure on this car. So anyway, take care guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, real quick before I leave, I wanted to show you something. Check this out. So when I was down underneath the car cleaning, I was cleaning up, I had a paper towel and I was cleaning the, uh, the lines going to the dry sump pump. And I noticed this tucked up in there and I pulled it out Apparently somebody was changing some spark plugs, broke one of them. This was still inside the socket, but uh, whoever owned this thing before me at some point was changing some spark plugs and uh, yeah, they lost their socket. So that'll be mine now. You never know what you're going to find with these old cars. It might be something weird like this. It might be something cool that gives you some clue on the history, but you never know.